Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 14th of October 2022. Friday the 14th, is that an unlucky day? It's exactly as lucky or unlucky as a Friday the 13th, of course. Statistic nonsense. Statistically proved nonsense, right? Okay. Uh, what's happening here in Bangkok? It's very quiet around here. Uh, I can hear my neighbours chatting from time to time, but apart from that, it's... Uh, there are no people around on the streets. It's a public holiday, uh, kind of. Uh, it was a holiday yesterday, and many people have also taken today off, it seems. Um, so that uh, means that there shouldn't be too much background noise anyway. Um, so I'm going to get on with the game of the New York Times hard level regular for this channel. Of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and do things that YouTube people the, the people on YouTube do uh, um, all of that kind of stuff. Thank you very much. And uh, if you are new to the game of Sudoku, oh well, this might not be the right place to start because uh, generally the New York Times is a tough game. Uh, three blocking down here, three blocking up here, and that's where the three goes. But of course you're welcome to try whatever your level is. And uh, if you are just good at logic, well, that will be great. Try and get to grips with what's going on here. See if we can find any of our New York Times type of things that they are want to do. There's a confusing word for non-native speakers of English. To be want to do something. All right, uh, didn't spot anything, so let's go through the digits with a bit of assistance, visual assistance, by highlighting on the numbers and see if I can see anything nice and easy. Bright and easy is what I'm looking for at the moment. Uh, not necessarily anything super difficult, but just anything that will uh, give me um, some idea, bring further light to the puzzle. Okay, this looks like a good way to start. Four and two blocking down here, four and two blocking across here then. So we've got four and two in these squares and we've also, oh no, sorry, we've got twos up there. We've got fours down here. Oh, I almost messed it up a little bit. Right, so we've got two and four in here. Now, what does that, how does that help us? Well, it certainly says that the nines now blocking down here must appear in either this square or this square. So we've got nine blocking across here and nine blocking across here. So nine blocking down there, that must be our nine, mustn't it? Uh, I do believe in this column we are looking for 2, 3, 6, and 7. Am I right? No 2, no 3, no 6 or 7. So 2, 7, and 3 all blocking this square, so that has to be a 6. We'll take that 6 and say 6 blocking up this column, 6 up here, 6 across here. Let's get the 6 there. Oh, let's continue with the 6. It looks good. 6 across like this and 6 up here. So that's our 6. Can we? Can we? Can we, Mum? Can we, Mum? Six down here. There's a six. And that is indeed the finale for sixes. Um, <clears throat> now, I'll come back and look at this, uh, what, I've, what I discovered before, just in case it can help us in any other way. I've forgotten what it was now. What was it? Two and four, wasn't it? 
Uh, we've got two and four in these squares. Now, is there anything else that's going to be useful here? I have a feeling not. I think not. Um. Hmm. Okay. Right, let's uh, see what's missing from up here. We are still looking for um, two, three, seven in those squares. Um, so uh, that means, of course, two blocking up here and two across here. So that's our two then. Two across here and across here and up here means that that's a 2 and of course now we know that this has to be a 4 because we did have 2 or 4 limited only to these two squares I'll show you again now look 4 looking across there in case you've forgotten it rather like I am prone to doing uh, let's click on the 2's and see if there's anything else available shall we um, I don't think so just yet how about the fours? We know that the fours are down here. Anything else? Oh. Uh, mm, probably not yet. <clears throat> ah. Now we have one blocking up this column and up this column, and so we must place our one here. We have five across this row, five across this row, and five up this column, so five fits there. Now, uh, I'm going to work out what's in here by, again, remember, trying to remember what goes here. I've actually forgotten this. I know it's two, three, but, oh, two, three, seven, okay. That's two, three, and seven. So what goes in these two squares must be four and eight. So we've got blocking four here. So four is here and the eight is there. Um. Right, what else? Um. Okay, we've got our seven blocking up here, so that puts a seven into that square there. We can get this for sure. We either work out what's here or we work out what's in these squares, and therefore we will end up with what goes there. Uh, what is in these squares? Um, it's a three and nine, I believe, and so this has got to be four. Four then blocking down this column, down this column, and across here. There. That's where the four is placed. Um, okay, so now we have nine blocking this square, nine blocking this square, and nine blocking this square. So in this row, that's the location for nine. Nine up, nine down, nine in. Uh, I think the missing digits here are 1, 2, and 3. Let me just double check. Yes, they are. And 1 and 3 are in the same row. So it's not 1, it's not 3, it's got to be 2. 
Ah, uh, now two and three. I know I do remember this was two, three, seven, wasn't it? So now we've got two and three blocking this square. So this has got to be seven then. We have four blocking across this row and this row. So four appears just there. We have four blocking down here and across these two rows, including those squares that my mouse jumped over because I'm mousing too quickly. We're going to finish up the fours now. Let's do that right now. There we go. Four and six are done. Probably because we spotted them in, uh, spotted uh, oh, the fours uh, over here, I guess. That would help out. Um, right, missing digits from here, two and three. Don't think we can get that just yet. We've got two there, three there. Right, what else is going on? One empty square here. Had to have a look around the grid to see what's going on, and, and didn't notice, or just almost didn't notice, that we just had a single digit missing there. And I'm sure you were shouting at me uh, to get it. Well, it seemed to work that time through the medium of YouTube. I heard you. Let's go through uh, the digits and see if anything uh, brings inspiration. Well, what do we know? We see the five blocking down here, so we know that fives are in these squares. We're just going to put fives there. But we've got fives like this. Um, unfortunately, five's still possible anywhere there. And over here, yeah, still anywhere there, I guess. Um, so I don't think we can get it from that. Let's continue with other digits. Um, ah, okay, so I just said uh, fives are here. I've got five blocking down here and five across here. We've also got sevens doing the same job. So we've got a pair of five and seven here. Come on, come on. Come on, five and seven. So if this is five and seven, um, and I don't know which is which, in these digit, in these squares, we need one and three, uh, which makes sense because that is one and three as well. But hmm, damn. <laughs>
see that it, I don't see how it helps me. Um, it might, but I don't see it. I'll just put in where the sevens are, actually, just to uh, enlighten anybody that's not uh, up with it yet, where they can go. Um, right, what's happening with the eights? We have eights like this. We have eights here. Anywhere down there. This is this is not a very really helpful spot, is it? This bit here. Uh, eights anywhere there. Oops. And anywhere in here. So that's not going to give me anything. Ah, there we go. It took me all the way to get to the nines to find it. <laughs> I finally found something. There we go. Nine is such a far away digit from one, right? <laughs> That's why it takes a long time to get there sometimes if you're looking slowly. Three's across here, three's across here. That's where the three goes, and I think the game should be over now. Uh, the last digit here has got to be a digit one, I believe. Right, now, uh, earlier on, we had five and seven in those squares didn't we so this will be, have to be our one now and up here this is a three i believe we need if i'm if memory serves me correctly three across here now that's the place for the three the missing digit here is a two two blocking across here and up here that's where two goes two blocking down here and across here that's where the two goes and that's done now a two Seven is it? Five, seven, five, seven, um, and eight. Right, not much more to go now, but I think uh, it's not going to be too tricky from this point in Woods. I, I think so anyway. But of course, I could be wrong. We have eight blocking across here, so that's where the eight must go. Uh, 8 blocking down here puts 8 into one of these two squares, so 8 blocking across here, that's where the 8 goes. 5 now blocking this square means that 5 is needed here, and 7 is, sorry, 7 is needed there, so we're trying to put in, 1 will finish off that. Now this 5 and 7 I think is going to do wonders for us. Now we've got 5, we know that that has to be 7 over there, and this has to be 5 down there, 5 blocking up there puts 5 into that square there, 5 across here and 5 down here means that this is our 5, 5 now blocking across these two rows means that 5's there, I can hardly keep up with myself. One digit missing down here which is a 7, 7 also blocks across like this, now that's where the 7 is, one number missing from this column and it's an 8. And assuming nothing goes wrong, I'm going to say that this has been a very easy Sudoku, New York Times hard level Sudoku. Uh, they've been tough on us in recent times. Maybe it's respite for respite for uh, for Friday. Um, okay, what goes here? This is an eight, is it? Uh, we also have eight blocking across there, sticking an eight in there, and a three to go here. 3 blocking across puts a 3 in that square, 1 will finish that block, 1 blocking up here, you're a 1, and to finish today's very easy grid is a 7, well that's a surprise, I wasn't expecting it to be like that, nobody expects the Spanish New York Times Inquisition, bye bye.